Yeah. Good morning, everyone. My name is Julianne Morseth, and I'm a consultant. My own practice is called Awake at Work, and I'm committed to bringing conscious choice to work. That's why I do what I do. And I'm also a teacher in the Green MBA program at Dominican University of California. And the motto of the Green MBA program is transform yourself, transform business, transform the world. So the whole concept of transformation is near and dear to my heart. And in the short time we have together, I'd just like to share some of the most important ideas and ways that you can encourage your own transformation, as well as the transformation of sustainable enterprise. So first of all, let's talk about what transformation is not. Transformation is not transcendence. To transcend something is to be supreme or superior to it. <clears throat> to transcend something is to be above and independent from the material universe and from material experience. In other words, to transcend is to not be in your body. To transcend is to not be at one with this precious earth, but attempt to rise above it. So transformation is not transcendence. Transformation means to actually change markedly in form. And perhaps the most profound example we have in nature is the transformation of a caterpillar to a butterfly. The Greeks understood the mystery of this because they gave the word psyche to both soul and butterfly. They knew that the human soul transforms itself in exactly the same way a caterpillar becomes a butterfly. It's a mystery. The caterpillar liquefies before it becomes a butterfly. There's no scientific reason why a caterpillar's cells become a butterfly. Another useful thing to understand is what is a transformer. It's a device that transfers electric energy from one circuit to another such as a change in voltage or current, a change in voltage or current. Well, actually, we have electrical currents going through our body all the time. We, electrical zap and then a chemical, chemicals released. Electrical zap and chemicals are released. The neurotransmitters in our brains are always sending electrical signals, and we have a chance to transform ourselves as we work with our bodies. So transformation is being embodied. So I'd like to invite you if you'd like to get the most from these few minutes together, to put your feet on the floor and let your feet ground you on earth and let your body feel the support of the body of Mother Earth and breathe from your belly as we're together because the most important thing you do to support your physical transformation, emotional transformation, mental transformation, and spiritual transformation is to use your breath from your belly. Breathe into the belly if you can. I'll explain why that helps. So, a way to understand what are we transforming, I use little props in my presentation here. Transformation relates to us understanding that each one of us has a framework in the world. This is a way of thinking, of realizing we have a lens on the world. So if I'm not transformed, I walk through the world acting as if I don't notice that I have a framework, I don't realize I have a lens, I believe that everything I see out there is reality. What I see is what is. And the, don't you? Don't you see it the way I see it? If you don't, what's wrong with you? Okay. Rather, if I'm being transformed, I'm able to get my framework off of my face, and I'm able to recognize that I have my own lens and my own biases that affect the way I see reality. So transformation includes us getting our framework off our face. So what might be what might be some things that are in a framework? Just shout some ideas out. What do you think is in our lens and the way we see the world? Just shout some things out. Education. Education. Religion. What else? Pardon me. Religion. Religion. What else? Our culture. Culture. What else? Money. Money. What else? Upbringing. Upbringing. What else? Clothes. Mm -hmm. Clothes. Yes. What else? Fear. Education. Fear. Education. Yes. Yeah. And our gender and our age and and generation and family background and experiences and values and hopes and dreams and everything, 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 everything. Okay. So transformation includes 
getting our framework off our face and then owning this and taking responsibility. So the way the brain works, literally, all the things you've mentioned uh, are things I've written on this little transparency here. And so the way our brain works is our neural connections literally create the lens through which we see the world. <coughs> so I don't see things clearly. None of us do. No matter how transformed we may think we are, none of us see the world clearly. And through here I've written fear and hope. I'm sure we've all experienced ways that our fears cross out our hopes or our fears constrict us. Okay? So what can occur in transformation is, and breath is the single most important thing that helps us stay embodied to transform, is we can move from such restriction to a larger framework through a process of integrating. The more we integrate, the more we allow breath to help us stay with all that we are, the more we can transform from a smaller framework and lens on the world to a larger framework and lens. Never gets completely clear. Okay? There's always our experiences in there, our fears and hopes, but it can grow. We can grow. Does this make sense? We can grow. I'm sure you've all experienced this in one way or another. So in terms of sustainable enterprise, there's a couple of key things here that are fundamental to understanding this as well. Principle, we are multi-dimensional human beings. We are body, heart, mind, and spirit simultaneously. To get from a smaller framework to a larger lens in the world means that we allow ourselves to experience grounded body, open heart, emotional intelligence, mind that's able to think instead of being full of noise, and open to the sense that we are spiritual. Body, heart, mind, spirit simultaneously. So as you keep your feet on the floor, everyone, and feel Mother Earth's body supporting your body, and you breathe into your belly, let yourself feel your own energy rising through your heart, through your mind, through the crown of your head to spirit, and let the spirit come down through your mind, through your heart, into your body, into your feet, and send that energy back to Mother Earth this is what we want in sustainable enterprise. So this connection, we are multidimensional, simultaneously, body, heart, mind, spirit, is fundamental to an expanded, open framework. Another key concept, key to sustainable enterprise, we are entangled with all life, mineral, plant, animal, human. We are entangled with all life. Quantum physicists have proven in experiments year after year now that entanglement is a principle that is more fundamental than time and space. Just like Misha was saying, the power of stories are about relationship. We're in relationship with everything all the time. And so in, what does this have to do with sustainable enterprise? Well, I believe all of us here in this conference care deeply about our entanglement with all of life. That's what this conference is really about. So how do these things come together with the attempt to be a more transformed leader with our clients, with our customers? So um, I, I myself had to learn how do I own my own fears, hopes, dreams, background, experiences, education, etc. How did it help me with my own um, work? So as a teacher, it helped me when I realized in, several years ago in a classroom that if I was going to be a better teacher, I had to drop, drop the wall that I was holding up somehow to protect myself from being fully present with my students. I dropped it. I became more open. And in so doing, I became a better teacher. And I also allowed more space to open up with students to be present with them and listen to them. What does this have to do with our clients and our customers? The more present and open we are, the more we can listen to what our clients really need rather than imposing our views upon them, rather than engaging in some unnecessary conflict with them from our own biases. The more present we are, the more open we are, the more we can listen, listen to our clients and our customers. 
And in business, if you are involved in any aspect of a value chain with your suppliers and your vendors, the more open we are, the more we can perhaps engage with our vendors and our suppliers to discuss how we are interconnected with all of life, plant, mineral, plant, animal, human, and be open to the potential of being present with them as to how we can meet them in an open way. So what can occur, the challenge to all of us, no matter how much we've attempted to practice openness, it can be that we can meet a client, a customer, a student, a friend, a family member, and we may come to the meeting open. And they may be full of a smaller lens or fear or worry or concern, concern about money, whatever, um, issues. And we may find as we speak to them that we get triggered. Have any of us gotten triggered? <laughs> we get triggered, right? So in getting triggered, the first thing that's getting triggered, what do you think it is? I've given you the clue. What shifts in the body? Pardon me? Your breath. Your breath. Your breath. When we get triggered, our breath shifts immediately. So clue everybody, now put time together. You get triggered, breathe into your belly, and because otherwise, we can find ourselves getting caught up suddenly. We're caught up in a battle with a client, with a customer, with a friend, and we're now, gotten, we've gotten caught up in this. So how to stay in this place is to breathe, breathe. And when we do, and we're listening to someone who may be caught up in that, we're creating a space for something to change. We first change, we first change, and the possibility is this is how we tra become transformative leaders. We're not above anybody. We're present right with them. So I don't have any snappy endings for you. I don't have any magic bullet for you. I don't have a quote that somehow summarizes everything together at once and ties it all into a nice little bow. All I have for you is the invitation for you to acknowledge that you are multidimensional. Acknowledge that you are body, heart, mind, spirit simultaneously. Acknowledge your interrelationships with all of life, that we are entangled with the mineral kingdom, the plant kingdom, the animal kingdom, the human kingdom. And as you are more present in this, these truths about yourself, that your own transformation in the moment will bring you the wisdom you need, the listening you need, the presence you need, to offer an openness that the situation needs, that the person needs, that the value chain needs, that your business needs. And breathe into that and you and find new ideas will come to you. New inspiration will come to you. New opportunity and options will come to you that before did not seem available. Thank you very much.